So what is your favorite book? I would say my favorite book is Just Kids by Pat Yasmin. Um, I think my favorite book is uh, Alors Chez Je Suis Perdu, which is a French book by uh, Proust. And what's the book about? It's basically the story, the love story between Patti Smith and Robert, Robert Matofor, the photographer. How they came together, how they met in New York, what went through their lives, how they got them better with their projects and like how they end up being uh, successful after a long, long life. This book is about Proust, uh, who is uh, telling us about his life and uh, several uh, episodes uh, that really like, constructed his uh, character and so he can reflect on uh, his life and uh, everything that happened and society and all of things like that. And this is something that you've learned from people that perhaps maybe inspired you. I've learned to trust your best friends, I would say. That's what the book goes about on like their long relationships. Yeah, so you've actually yeah. applied certain learnings in your daily life. Yes, I have, yeah. I guess perhaps just like think about events and people that have like big influence in my life and try to think more about yeah what's really important and why I, what I need to to remember I guess. So would you recommend okay. it to others? I would definitely recommend that book. It's definitely one of the best reads I've done. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. But it's in French and it's really complicated, so... Do you know the, the English title as well? Uh, it's something like... I don't know, it's... I'll look it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. My favorite book is Shoe Dog. What is your favorite book? So, my favorite book would be the lives of the artists. Well, Shoe Dog is actually a biography by Phil Knight, which is Nike's uh, founder, founder of a megapoly of Nike. And he just basically says all his struggles on setting up the company and how he was motivated in order to achieve his dream, which was, well, initially he was a, he competed in track, but um, he wasn't that good um, in racing, so he decided uh, he wanted to do shoes for um, for better athletes. Well, it's it's a bunch of, of biographies of the best Italian artists in, in the Renaissance. And that, that's it, yeah. It's it's just the, the motivation of if you want something, you're gonna do whatever it requires in order to achieve it. He, it's basically like his mindset. Um, it's just he wanted to become some famous person with something and creating an idea with Nike uh, and for people to be um, represented by the idea of Nike for being fast. Well, I learned a, a lot of, of the Italian history, which is absolutely fascinating. I mean, these are the best artists in history, so I couldn't like draw anything for my life. I just had so much fun with it. It's like an inspiration. Exactly. Yeah. Do you recommend it to artists as well? Yeah. Of course, of course. Um, the Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. It's a little bit of a complicated storyline, but it follows a few different people and how their lines inter like yeah, intertwine with each other. And um, it's a very optimistic, nihilistic book, which I think is really interesting. It's, uh, it was written in 1932, but it's set way in the future about how uh, capitalism and mass consumerism can be, um, can just get, go too far and affect like human nature and how society is organized. I found that really interesting. I'd say just kind of how to live life in the moment and not put too much weight in things, but then, Again, at the same time, make sure that you don't, what's it called, um, just like brush everything off. Some things need to be overthought. Definitely, I think to do with uh, being more careful about uh, capitalism and, and how that affects our human nature and how we choose to live our lives, our morals, our values, things like that. So would you recommend it to others? Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, it's, a, it's, it's a slow book, you have to get through it. <laughs> Uh, my favorite book is Homo Sapiens. My favorite book is called Verity by Colleen Hoover. Call of the Wild, Jack London, it's about a dog. So it's essentially a description of the human evolution from hunter-gatherers to the agricultural revolution, industrial revolution, the scientific revolution. So it's basically about how we developed as humans, which I find very fascinating. It's a psychological thriller. It basically has a bit of a love story about a, a writer who's gotten in a car accident and she basically needs a ghostwriter to continue writing her book series. And then she's married and her husband goes out looking for someone to write her books 
and then it's just a whole series of events when we get to find out exactly who the author was and all this event. It's about 1800s America and it's about the gold rush. So they go to Alaska and search for gold. It's from the perspective of the dog himself. So the dog is like speaking and just the story of like resilience, you know, and fighting through hardship and nature and man. And this is the main theme. This book actually inspired me to uh, pursue anthropology in UCL. So that's, I think that's like the biggest impact this book had on my life. I've learned that social relationships are like really complicated. Um, you can love someone for all the wrong reasons and all the right ones. But yeah, it just taught me a lot about social relationships, I guess, and how, how people care for each other can take different like different forms and what you're willing to sacrifice and do for someone. Which would you recommend to others? Yeah, definitely. You know, go read it. It's a really nice story. It's a bit different, as like I said, it's from the perspective of a dog, so it's not a person. Oh, definitely. I think everyone should read it just to like get an idea about how we came to the place that we are at as humanity. I would. I actually read it on a plane. I'm a very slow reader. I read that book in a day, so it's really good. Yeah. Thank you very much.